no matter what happened to you, just keep fighting. Stay positive and believe in yourself. Pork chop ripped me off. My cousin ripped me off. And the trucking company ripped me off. And like, like Angela Mayo say, and still I rise. Now all these people have done me dirty. Pork chop, my cousin, the, the trucking company, my relatives didn't give me no kind of help. That's cool. Oh, okay. You would think I would be angry and upset. I did 10 years in the crazy house. You think I would be upset and angry with the world. I was still paying off credit cards. And I decided to give away $6,000. Even Alquan, even Alquan got 50 bucks. And then we know Sister Noble, I helped her. Plus, we was in a relationship. You know I did her, her good. I helped people buy furniture for their new apartments. I bought groceries for people. I bought candy for children. I felt good about it the charity. I feel good about it. So I got sick. As you know, I got sick 2020 and I can't work. Just because you get sick your bills don't stop. Your bills don't stop because you get sick. Any of you out there, you know, if you get sick and hurt and can't work or whatever, your bills don't stop. I want to thank all of you out here that supported Rally's Temple, I want to thank you so much for helping me during my time of need. I want to thank uh, my Facebook friends and some of my Instagram friends. Whatever little you had, you decided to share it with your brother because common sense tell you that my bills don't stop because I'm, I'm sick. Alquan didn't give me a dime. Alquan laughed and giggled. About my sickness. A lot of people was happy about my sickness. Sister Noah was supposed to be been my friend. She was somebody I was in a relationship with. As you know, Sister Noah didn't work. She made no attempt. I'm looking. We don't know. We looking. We looking at death. Might have been my last days on the earth. Sister Nova made no attempt to come see me. All those people that I helped just three years ago, none of them gave me a dime. None of them. Now you may think again, And what's so sad is some of these people like Alquan and Sister Noble, they turn around and stab you in the back. 
How you going to Brother Craig gave him money for his radio station, whatever? All these people turn around and stab you in the back. Now you would think with all this going on, all that I've been through since I was in the crazy house, going through drama with my relatives, people robbing me from my paycheck, pork chops stabbing me in the back, Alquan and Craig and Noble and Maurice. You might think or you would think that I would really hate some people, but I don't. I still give to those that I see in trouble. Matter of fact, I just cash out somebody yesterday. They may never do nothing for me. I don't care. I know what I'm about. And I wouldn't do that to nobody. The relative that I was talking about gave me a little space in their house. For a little while, I was upset with them. There's, there's, a, there's a saying. Maybe you can help me with this saying, because I'm, I'm paraphrasing. But there, it's an old saying that when something like this, when something bad like this happened to you or whatever, it just makes you stronger. All this, all this stuff, Sister Noble, Pork Chop, all those people that stabbed us in the back, Bakari and Gary and Gay Nollywood, it just made me stronger. All those people, Sunshine and Ab Legend and all those people who was my listeners, stabbed me in the back. It just made me stronger. And you would think with all that treachery, with all that betrayal, you might think that would have an effect, that that would change me. No. I'm still the same. It has made me better. It has made me stronger. And I did it all. I'm a survivor. And I did it without God. I did it. I survived and continue to survive without Jesus. Without Allah. Without the ancestors. We stand strong. This soul train continues to move. People will come and people will go. I have been on YouTube since 2007. I've seen the losers come. I've seen the losers go. I will talk even if I get one view and I'm the one giving the view. I don't care. I really don't care. I will talk. Because I have something to say. It's not coming from the Bible. It's not coming from the Quran. It's not coming from the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan. It's not coming from Marcus Garvey. It's coming from me. What we bring here on this platform is coming from us. We learn from us, our brain. We are the God here. We are the prophets here. 
and we some bad boys. We some bad women and men here. The only thing you can come, the only thing you can get when you come here trying to challenge us is an ass whooping. We have proven and we back up what we say. The most powerful voice, the most powerful voice on YouTube and social media. A hundred channels terminated. All kinds of haters. 13, 14 people united to try to bring me down. We still here. Exactly. Take out the trash. So we had the purge. Get rid of all the trash. Made us stronger. made us strong. I'm like Elmer Fudd. Good riddance to bad wubbish. <laughs> exactly. Good wittish to bad wubbish. We are still going to keep, I'm not going to allow some idiots to take me off the soul train because they don't represent the 40 million plus in this nation. It's a whole lot of people we can reach. Push aside the losers, push aside the riffraff and keep rolling. You're going to see a, what is it they say in religion? Many are called, few are chosen. That's what they say in religion. So don't be shocked if you see somebody today and they're gone tomorrow. All that you have to do is say, good riddance, the bad rubbish. We are the best thing going on. They reject us. They reject salvation. I'm bold enough to say that. Yes. I'm bold enough to say it. You reject the realities temple on earth. You reject your own salvation. You reject yourself. You have the power in yourself. You don't need God. You don't need And as always in parting, we wish you... Come on and jam with us next week on these same stations. And you can get your last money. It's all going to be a stone gas, honey. I'm Don Cornelius, and as always in parting, we wish you love, peace, and soul.